Hi and welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show how to properly scramble the sun cube uh, which is a very interesting puzzle by MF8 and I did a brief uh, review on it uh, in a recent video that I posted excellent puzzle in my opinion and so uh, it does have a specific way of being scrambled if you want to get the maximum potential scramble so technically once you do scramble it uh, Solving it, you're probably going to end up scrambling it further during the initial stages of the solve, but nevertheless, it's good to scramble it uh, properly from the start. So, uh, basically, you're going to have three types of moves. One is basic 3x3 three three moves, as, uh, as such, for instance. And the second one, second type of move you're going to have is uh, edge swapping. Uh, moves basically jumbling edges. You're gonna turn one face off center like this and the other one off center by 45 degrees and then you do a 180 turn. So you swap this edge actually, well yeah, edge pieces and corners. You basically end up swapping this and then you return it and you continue doing a 3x3 three three solve. I mean 3x3 three three scramble and more of those uh, edge swapping scrambles as well and then finally once you get everything separated then you start doing the shape shifting moves and that's when the bandaging is going to start taking place little by little both internal bandaging and external bandaging okay so let's get to it so uh, first I'm just going to start doing a 3x3 three three scramble as you can see here turns very smoothly though it does tend to catch and you should not force it when it does catch you should be really careful because I actually got a pop on this during uh, my third solve and it took me, a, fortunately only a few pieces came out, not a few, I guess you could say maybe like 20 something pieces came out, like a whole portion, and it took me like probably an hour to put together. I was scared that I was not going to be able to put it back together, so <laughs> you really have to be careful, but otherwise I haven't had any issues with it. Okay, so uh, we've gotten a decent 3x3 three three scramble, now we start doing the edge swapping, uh, the jumbling moves like this. We place it like this, do a 180, bring it back, and then we do it like uh, we could do it on this face, off center, off center, 180, and then we could also do it on this side, and then we could like we could turn one of the faces like this, and then we could do it like that, and bring them back, do some more three by three. Scram. So we look for pieces, you see, like this, that are not separated out, and we try to separate them out. For instance, when I turn this in like this, I know I'm going to separate this out. But we do not do shape-shifting moves just yet, so we're going to separate these out as well. Okay, <clears throat> like that, and then I want to separate this one, these out. And I try to place colors that are not going to be interchangeable. Like if I would put this here, this yellow would come into here and it would end up, you know, pretty much in its proper place, so, like that, and you just keep going, like that, do some more 3x3 three three turns, <coughs> And then do some more moves like that. Separate as many pieces as we can. See, I try to strategically position them in a way that's going to separate as many of these colors as I possibly can. And I throw regular 3x3 three three scramble moves into the mix as well.
Yeah, so it does take some time to properly scramble, like to get a, as much of an efficient scramble as you can. Okay, now we could get into the shape shifting moves. I think it's a fairly good scramble as far as all the pieces. And so to do shape shifting moves, you simply turn a single face and you start doing turns. Just start turning it wherever you can. It will start bandaging. Keeping in mind, you could do either 90 degree turns or you could do uh, uh, 45 degree turns. This is going to get into some really weird shapes. And you'll feel like in certain places it's going to start to bandage. And the important thing is don't force it. As you can see, it's already getting pretty bandaged up. So I'm looking for those specific turns. Because I want to get the maximum possible scramble that I can. Okay, I think we could call this a scramble. So yeah, so this is a scrambled MF8 Sun Cube. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.